Good morning, fam. It's your boy Black at you, back at you. Another show just for you, fam. This one's going to be about the American dollar, the USD. The USD is um replenishing. The Chinese yuan is now taking over, fam. It's now taking over. If you've been watching my videos, you will see that I've been letting you know about for months now. At least about a year I've been telling you about um, the Chinese power. You know, how they're taking over, how people all around the world now learn their language, Mandarin. All throughout Africa, they're learning Mandarin. Now, 41 countries are now using yuan. The Chinese currency, they're using their yuan. They're not using their USD anymore for their import and transport. Just, just let, yesterday, matter of fact, uh, who jumped on the bandwagon? Brazil. Brazil. There's an oil, it has oil in that, um, in, that, in that country there. So, hey, they collaborating. And guess what now? Saudi Arabia says they about to um, drop the um, USD to... You know, they're going to start using the wand. Now they're going um, to start doing trade with China and Saudi Arabia. Everyone's just pushing the USD away. The Americans have no more. Um, the power was gone now, fam. The power was gone. We see it's like a vacuum now. You know what I'm saying? I told you before that if Saudi Arabia was to take all the money out of the um, U.S. banking system, our system will crumble now. It will crumble. It's crumbling right before our eyes. We just don't see it now. It may be too late for Trump to do something about this here because the plan has already been in motion. And now that they um collaborated, now these people are allies and partners. I don't think Trump got enough power to even stop this here. Why? Because the mission is to all these countries here is um to take the U.S. down. You know, to take their power away. There's no more superpower stuff no more. That stuff played out in the 80s, fam. There's no more superpower stuff there. You watch out for the Indian rupee. That's next. The Indian rupee and um, the Chinese yuan. These are going to be the currencies out there. People want their hands on. You know what I'm saying? For trading the currency. Not the USD, fam. We all crumbling. All y'all are crumbling. You know what I'm saying? But y'all don't see that deal. You need to wake up. You need to wake up, fam. I tell you before, escape Babylon before it's too late. Before it's too late. What's this guy named? Um, Jesse Ventura. Yeah, Jesse. He should be goddamn president. I've been saying it some years ago. We had that show was called um, Conspiracy Theories. How this is about ten over ten years ago when he was showing that these big barges, big barges, these big boats, right? And behind these big boats is something like um like plastic behind it where it sucks in water. It, it pulls the water and it keeps the water in. So they was taking all the water from these seven great lakes up there, there in many 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 Minneapolis up there, up there, and taking the water, taking the water now. I said the river last I heard was about 65% full. And this was about five years ago I heard that shit there, fam. That thing probably got them dry by now. You know what I'm saying? They saw all the water to China. America has, um, it's America's fault of what's happened now. You saw everything, said so we have nothing. Now we want to sit here and play Big Brother to Taiwan because they make um, the microchips for computers. And China saying, no, 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 no. Taiwan is ours. So don't get it twisted. They said by year 2027, they're taking Taiwan. Do you believe them? I do believe. I believe they're at least going to goddamn try and take it. And when they do try and take it, what's going to happen? Mm -hmm. They want to send American troops over there. For what? Huh? For what? Let them take goddamn Taiwan. Don't sit there and send goddamn troops over there for some goddamn five year, six year war. You know, you know how long it's going to be fighting some people who are, um, who are capable of fighting. You know what I'm saying? Not just no wars. We're going to bomb and got them Taliban's and shit and snap. We saw people who got airplanes and navies and things like that. Well, they want to do this here for a little old Taiwan? Because they do um, have another world war. There's going to be more and more countries um, joining in. That means more and more deaths. You know what I'm saying? More and more American deaths, fam. Oh, we got them Taiwan. Oh, y'all willing to sacrifice your, um, your young men and women for Taiwan? I don't really think y'all want to do that. But the government, they want to do it while it's all about the money and them damn microchips, fam. Like I said, the USD is crumbling. Nobody wants the USD anymore. It's, it's finished there. You got 41 countries now who has um, now dropped the USD and is now using the Chinese yuan or their currency within a one month, fam. <laughs> Not looking too good. And I'm out, fam. Peace.